Well, there is something new coming to Minnesota Fields. The University of Minnesota Forever Green Initiative is developing a first ever perennial flax. Dr. Neil Anderson guides the university's herbaceous perennial breeding program. Good to see you this morning. Good morning. Good to see both of you. Tell us Thank a little you. bit about this perennial flax. Well, on a cold day like this, where it's white outside, picture for a second fields of blue that mirror all the lakes we have in Minnesota. Minnesota used to be a leader in annual flax production from 1921 to 1950. Uh, and we're looking to bring back perennial flax for a new uh, set of uses. So again, we'll have fields of blue across the state. So tell us about it. What are some of the benefits? Yeah, that's a good question. And the more we delve into perennial flax, the more benefits we seem to be finding. Uh, one of the interesting ones that was unexpected is pollinator ecosystem services, if you will. So it is very attractive to honeybees, the blue color. Um, and as a result, um, they can harvest honey from it, nectar and pollen um, throughout a long growing season because the perennial flax blooms into October, November, whereas annual flax would be terminated around midsummer. Other advantages are it uh, uh, can be used for oil seed, for meal and, uh, and oil. It's full of uh, omega-3s, which of course have health benefits. Uh, it's also useful for gardeners, any horticulturists. Uh, it's as an herbaceous perennial, you have blue flowers, which are rare in, in horticulture. We're also studying it for uh, use as a cut flower and for fiber. This is so interesting to hear about um, that you're, there's so many uses and things that can be used for. And I, I understand you said this spring there will be blooming plants at the St. Paul campus. Will we see that blue out there? Yes, there will be blue uh, this year when it was blue up until about early November. Um, and then we also have a planting uh, at the Science Museum of Minnesota. So people can come there to the Science Museum and see the first year planting that will be coming up this spring. Will this be available for home gardeners? This will be available for home gardeners. Right now we're testing an herbaceous perennial one with nice blue flowers across the country in the All-America Selection Trials. And probably within, say, maybe two years or so, we might have an actual release on the market. Oh, wow, exciting. Thank you so much, Dr. Neil Anderson, joining us today to talk about the Herbaceous Perennial Breeding Program. Thank you. Thank you, great to be with you.